guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. My skinny kitchen, my skitchen. Today's video was highly requested. I'm going to be showing you some of the things I got for my bridal shower. If you don't know, I'm getting married later this year and the events are starting to happen and it's very exciting. And I did a whole video on my um, DIY bridal shower. It was Alice in Wonderland themed. I will link it up in the corner. The video is so cute. The shower was so cute and it was amazing. It was everything I wanted it to be. I shared a bunch of pictures on Instagram if you're interested in that. But I just wanted to share with you guys what I got, what my lovely family and friends gave to me. Uh, people were very generous and I was very shocked. So um, I'm not trying to be braggy with this video also. <laughs> this video is actually a partnership with Ebates. You guys know that I genuinely love Ebates. I talk about it all the time, sponsored or not. I joined Ebates the beginning of this year and I'm amazed at the cashback. Like, it, just that alone. If you don't know what Ebates is, it's a website that you can sign up through and shop through and earn cash back from your purchase. So if you're already a big online shopper, Ebates is something you totally need. It's completely free. There are zero catches. I'm telling you, I would be honest with you. There is no catch. My last check was $135 and I'm like, that's great. So my registry was through Bed Bath & Beyond and they are an Ebates sponsored company. Actually right now, or the last time I checked, they were offering 6% cash back, which is huge. Bigger stores like that tend to sometimes be bigger in the cash back field. So I wanted to register there because like I said, I really truly love Ebates. A lot of my friends and family know that, so I've told them to sign up for it as well. And I know a bunch of people that use it. So if they're going to be purchasing things like that online, such generous gifts, I wanted them to make some money back. So if you're registering, consider a place that would offer a good amount of cash back through Ebates. I know that they change all the time, but, but it's worth looking into. And also Bed Bath & Beyond offered a good, um, what's it called? Like a completion discount if you don't get everything from your registry and you personally want to buy it, they give you a discount off, which is really cool. A lot of places do that, but Bed Bath & Beyond is one I know for sure does. So if you don't have Ebates and would like to sign up, I will have my link down below. You get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, which it's like, yes. Seriously, and it also like, I mean, I love online shopping anyway because I don't have to leave the house, but it promotes me to online shop because if I'm gonna be spending the money anyway, might as well get cash back, you know? Like if you know, if you, know you need something from Sephora, just do it online, get the cash back. <laughs> so yes, thank you for partnering with me, Ebates. I love Ebates, so I'm very excited to get to work with them and that they support my channel, so thank you. Second thing, a lot of people have been asking about our registry. Actually, I'm gonna save that for the end of the video. I've spieled on for so long. I'm just gonna get to the haul. If you want that info, keep watching. But let's get into what I got for my bridal shower. Now, the most probably exciting thing, no offense to everybody else watching, but the thing I wanted most out of this wedding was a KitchenAid mixer, and my mom and dad got it for me, which was way too nice. Um, you, it's back there. I will show you a close-up. It is way heavier than I would have expected, which I don't know why I would think, oh, that'd be light. It's so heavy and it's so heavy duty and it's so cool. When I got the mixer, I posted it on Instagram stories and I got a lot of DMs back asking what color. It is the color aqua blue, sky aqua. Oh gosh, no, I've forgotten it. I will link it down below. I'm going to link all of this stuff through Bed Bath & Beyond if I can still find it. And if not, I'll link it through somewhere else. You can use Ebates. <laughs> I personally would have gone for the lavender one, but I do have a husband to consider and he actually has opinions about things. I feel like a lot of grooms are like, yeah, whatever, not mine. <laughs> So we decided on this really pretty light aqua blue color and I love it. It matches a lot of our Pioneer Woman stuff as well. So I do have it in there for now on display, which I love. But speaking of the KitchenAid mixer, I also got from part of my mother-in-law's gift, my soon-to-be mother-in-law, I got the ice cream maker attachment. I love peach ice cream, but I feel like you never see it anywhere. Sorry, there's like a thing inside. So I wanted to make my own fresh peach ice cream from scratch, and I did. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you'll see that I made some the other day. I couldn't get over how easy this was. Here, take a good look at it, because it's heavy. It's this really weird thing that you have to freeze in the freezer for up to 15 hours before you use it. It has some sort of liquid in it so that that liquid freezes, and then when you're churning, the ice cream in the mixer, I don't know. It's witchcraft, but it worked. I seriously couldn't get over how easy it was. Like the hardest part of the recipe was peeling the peaches and that's just because that's kind of a hard thing to do. But yes, I'm so excited about my KitchenAid. I need to look at all the other attachments because I know there's a bunch, but um, yes. So thank you guys for that. Also for my mother-in-law, she gave me a food processor, which I have wanted. This is probably, I mean, these are so not expensive either. Like I could have bought this for myself. 
But I just like for so long, me and Bradley knew we were getting married. So we were like, we're just gonna hold off on buying things till we register for them. So this is the food processor. This is a similar blue, but a little bit different. And it's just so cute. And I just watch a lot of the Food Network and they're always using a food processor. And I'm like, I don't have one of those, but now I do. So let me know if you have one of these, what do you make in it? I know that we usually make our pesto in a Nutribullet, but it's supposed to be made in one of these. So we'll finally be able to switch, but let me know what else. I know I can make like fresh salsa. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be the best wife. Speaking of the Nutribullet, we registered for a new one because our old one kind of broke. I mean, it still works, but the beauty of the Nutribullet is you push it down and you twist it and it kind of locks and you, it blends. But our locking mechanism on our old one broke, so I registered for a new one. But we didn't need a new one, but just it was kind of, this moment is kind of like we're getting married, this is the time to register for things. If we ever want a new one, now's the time. So I registered for a new one. My wonderful friend Brittany gave this to me. I'm trying to like keep things in like an order that makes sense, but I just don't know if that exists. Got some utensils. First we have this like, I think it's by OXO. Yes, it's like an omelet flipper, which we don't even make omelets a ton, but I, I was looking at this and I was like, I feel like I could use this for so many things. Whenever I make pancakes, I mean, I'm sure they make a pancake device for flipping pancakes, but I can never flip pancakes. This just looked like a good tool to have around for sunny side up eggs. I don't know, so I liked this, so I registered for that. I got these two things, which I'm super excited about. I had one of these before, but it was broken. This is a um, ice cream scoop technically, but I always use this in baking or even making like, I make this spicy turkey meatloaf recipe in individual muffin cups. And I use this to just portion everything out the same and make sure everything bakes evenly. And let me tell you, like my broken one worked fine, but I used this the other night and I was like, what a difference it makes that it actually works. And then I got a little cookie scoop, which is also super cute. It's the same thing, but if you're ever baking cookies, it makes them all the same size and uh, just helps bake things evenly. And it's also just like an easier way of doing. It. So these are great. Speaking of baking, I got a cooling rack, which I've never owned one of these. And to be honest, I don't know the point of one of these, but I know that like when you bake things, you put them on the cooling rack. So got one of these, I believe it's by Kelphalon. I'll uh, link it down below. Oh, we also got our knife set, which we were so excited about. I will show you a close up of it. I'm actually terrified of it because the knives are really, really heavy duty and sharp. Riley's already cut himself, so now I'm like, oh my god, the new knives. But it's a Calphalon 17-piece situation. I was, we were both in North Carolina over Christmas, and we both were using my parents' knife sets, and we knew we were getting married, registering soon, and we both were like, these are great quality. Let's register for a Calphalon one. And that one was a good um, amount of knives, but it was kind of a thinner block, so it fit nicely into that little corner. Because like I said, we don't have a lot of space, but we do want the knives out on the counter. I'm loving having a pair of kitchen scissors that can go in the dishwasher. Superb. I've been wanting one of these for so long. It is a, I don't even know what this is technically called. It's by Cuisinart, and it is a, a just a big pot, but it has a built-in strainer. Let me, hold on. So basically, you just put the pasta in there, and then when it's done cooking, automatic colander like it's amazing i just am so into it and i've wanted it for the longest time i do feel obligated to tell you that hold on let me set this down that our pioneer woman pots and pans are starting to the gardeners are here damn it the pioneer woman pots and pans are starting to chip at the bottom oh my god the vacuum Whatever it's made out of is chipping and deteriorating and it's freaking me out because I know that when you're cooking and like touching the bottom of the pan, the scrapes of the whatever the pan is made of is getting into the food and that just really freaks me out. So we are going to look into registering for more pots and pans, which I didn't think we were going to do because I loved the Pioneer Woman once and it's been almost three years. It's been two and a half years, so that's a pretty good run for as inexpensive as they were and I love the colors, but I do feel obligated to tell you because I rave about them so much and I mean, I guess we all knew they weren't the best quality um, but I am gonna have to look into registering for new pots and pans so um, yeah just wanted to tell you that <laughs> I have a couple more kitchen things and then I have a couple vacuums Kate Spade may she rest I got so many messages from you guys that you thought of me when she passed away and it's just it's so sad and it, I mean this isn't what this video is supposed to be about but it definitely like saddens my heart a little bit now to look at these kinds of things but at least we have these things to celebrate her memory but she has an amazing line of strawberry kitchenware. There's so many cute things. 
and these are the dinner plates and I registered only for two of them which I don't know why I feel like these aren't plates I'd use all the time they would just be for like special occasions or maybe platters for if we're ever having like a cheese and cracker party I don't know but they were just really cute so I registered for two of those and the matching cups I was registered for the matching tumbler but then it was out of stock so I need to buy that for myself because I love Kate Spade tumbler cups that's what I sip my iced tea and my water out of every day but these are just clear plastic um, cups with strawberries all over them. I thought these would be so cute for the summer. And I just love mixed match cups. I didn't really find a bunch, like a solid cup that we wanted to register for. Me and Bradley were both kind of like, these are all kind of mediocre. To be honest, we still have these Target cups that were from the dollar section that we've had for five years and we love them and I don't I can't find another cup that's as good so we're gonna keep those and maybe one day we'll find other ones we like but so I'm just kind of buying random cups we have a bunch of random Disney cups as I've mentioned in other videos and it's just kind of fun in the cup cupboard to pick a different cup each day so whatever screw matching cups my sister-in-law Eleni got us this adorable stainless steel copper uh, martini shaker we eventually one day want to have a bar cart and this is going to be beautiful on it. So yeah, we'll see when that happens or if it even happens while we're in this apartment because I know that takes up space. But yeah, this is cute and cool. Bradley will use this more than I will. I'm not much of a drinker. And last but not least, I got a couple vacuums. <laughs> now this I don't know how I didn't own before, but I have in my day, in my day, when I was a child, we called this a duster buster. I don't know if that's just something we made up as Thompsons, but it's a mini handheld vacuum. This is by Black & Decker, again in a nice light blue color. That looks gray on camera, but um, whatever. It's a handheld vacuum. <laughs> it's amazing for vacuuming up the couch, would be incredible, and I can't wait to do this for vacuuming my car. Are you kidding? Yes. Just like little spills, like my headboard. I vacuumed this the other day. We have like a fabric cushion headboard, lampshades. Yes, like I just, I don't know how I didn't have this before. It comes with a cool wall mount that it will charge on and like be out of your way off of the floor. And I love it. And it's so inexpensive. So this was great. My sister-in-law and I, technically my brother gave this to me. So thanks guys. They also said they bought one for themselves. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, I don't know how I'm going to show you this. I've got a I'm gonna go out of focus. A cordless vacuum! <laughs> this is the Dyson V6 cord free vacuum. Let me tell you, I have, it's been what, a week and a half since my shower? This is life changing. I vacuum every day. Something about getting out, and I have a Dyson with the cord, and it's incredible. Like, it's the best vacuum I've ever owned. But it's just so hefty, and the cord, and then you have to move the cord, you have to pl re plug the cord in when you move to a different part of the apartment. Nope. No longer. I mean, I'm going to keep that vacuum. But this, my God, I cleaned out my closet the other day. I vacuumed underneath the shoes and the clothes. Works great on carpet, works great on hardwood, and there's no cord. It's incredible. This also has a wall mount that you just kind of stick up and it charges and it's off the floor. I was so excited about this. It's such a generous gift. My sister-in-law's mother gave this to me. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear on who gave me what, but we are thrilled about this gift, man. Like, so good. <laughs> but okay, guys, I think that is it. I hope, I hope I'm not forgetting anything, even though I probably am. I was registered at Bed Bath & Beyond, like I said, and I had a lingerie registry, if you will, through one of those uh, registry sites. So I'm not going to share the lingerie I got just because a little uncomfortable but I got such good stuff and I got some like Nordstrom money and Victoria's Secret money so I can get some of my own lingerie so that was really nice. As I was saying about the registry I'm getting tons of questions about where we're registered because you guys are so nice and want to buy us presents. I am not going to share the registry for two reasons. One just for safety and privacy but two I don't have enough on it. I don't have enough on it for the wedding guests so I feel like I shouldn't share it. We're trying not to register for a bunch of stuff we don't need or have space for. I don't know just more like my old old age, minimalistic life, self. I'm just registering for things that I could actually see myself using in the near future. So we've set up a honey fund for the honeymoon. And like, I feel, I feel so uncomfortable right now. I don't want you to think that I'm like begging you guys for money. Your support is enough. Your likes, your clicks, your comments, your views, your subscribing, like all of that stuff is enough support for me. But I'm just getting so many questions and comments that I I am going to share the honey fund. I will link it down below, but again, please, do you don't have to give me anything. I'm not, ha, so uncomfortable. <laughs> and it's so nice that you guys are like asking to buy us presents. Like that's so generous and so nice. So, but just for the wedding, we didn't have enough for the registry. So we set up a honey fund because we do want to take a grand honeymoon. We're doing it up in Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> 
So if you are interested, but please don't feel like I'm pressuring you, <laughs> I will have that linked down below if you're interested. And leave me Hawaii um, suggestions. Bradley's never been, I haven't been since I was like 10. We're pumped. So just leave us your suggestions down below. I am hot and I am hungry. So I'm gonna use all my new kitchen stuff and my vacuums to make myself lunch. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of the nice comments and well wishes on the video of the bridal shower and all the um, pics on Instagram and just all your nice messages. It's a very exciting time and I'm really excited that I'm sharing it with you guys. I feel like I share so much and I know I'm private about a lot of things, but um, it's just nice to bring you along on this journey and I'm gonna go before I start crying because I haven't cried on YouTube yet, I don't think. But I love you guys. I'll see you very soon in a new video and I hope you are having a great day. If you haven't already, don't forget about the Ebates link down below. Hook it up to your browser. Make sure it always alerts you when you're on a site that will give you cash back and really use it because I'm telling you guys, the rewards come. I don't know if I mentioned this, but it pays you four times a year. So my next check is coming in August and it's already over a hundred dollars. And I'm like, yes, give that to me. Honeymoon money. But yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you very soon in a new video. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.